Military representatives from SADC, the Southern African bloc, are in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. They are there to evaluate security as fighting in the region is drawing more international attention. This is happening as 30 Burundian soldiers arrived in the strategic city of Goma on Sunday as part of the East African Community Regional Force. The EAC force, which was formed last year, has been supporting the Congolese army. The Burundian soldiers will team up with a detachment of about 1,000 Kenyan soldiers who have been stationed in and around Goma since November. Thousands have been displaced as a result of the fighting in the province of North Kivu. We're joined by CGTN's Chris Chamringa, who's live in Kinshasa. Chris, military officials from the Southern African Regional Bloc are in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo to assess security. What more can you tell us about their visit to the region? That's right, uh, Penina. The m military officials from the Southern African Development Community arrived in the DRC last week, and their first stop was in the DRC capital, Kinshasa, where they met some senior officials and discussed ways of how they can help the DRC to try and resolve, uh, restore peace in the East, especially after the resurgence of the M23 rebels who have captured very many territories and forced thousands of people to flee the area. So the soldiers are now in the eastern city of Goma. They have visited Beni and Butembo, and they are assessing the security situation with a view of eventually sending boots on the ground. Now, the DRC government uh, invited them to, to this country because they have faced a lot of pressure from the population to find alternative uh, solutions to dealing with this security crisis in the East. Many people in the DRC have been accusing the East African Community Regional Force of uh, uh, failing to fight against the, the M23 rebels despite having an offensive mandate. They, have said, they say that the, the, the East African uh, Community Regional Force is engaged in uh, kind of an observer, it's like an observer mission or engage in military diplomacy and they have not been happy about that. So the government, you know, facing pressure and uh, in light of an election that's coming in December had to find solutions. That's why they called the members of the Southern African Development Community. And you know, this country has had a very good relation in terms of peace and security. Way back in 1998, some uh, SADC member states from uh, Angola, Zimbabwe and Namibia sent soldiers here to fight and support the government of a former president, Laurent Desiree Kabila, that was facing an attack from troops from Rwanda and Uganda. And they played a very instrumental role in uh, pushing back those troops from ousting uh, President Kabila from power. And later on in 2012, uh, when the M23 rebels started an insurgency in eastern DRC, they temporarily captured the eastern city of Goma. It was troops from SADC, uh, specifically from South Africa, Malawi and Tanzania, that were deployed under the United Nations Peacekeeping Mission, a special unit known as the Force Intervention Brigade that pushed back the rebels from eastern DRC. So Congolese authorities have very fond memories of the Southern African Development Community and they want to continue with this relation so that they stop the fighting in eastern DRC. Penina? We also know, Chris, that Burundi troops have also arrived in eastern DRC. What is their mandate and which area are they covering? Chris, talk to us about the Burundi troops who've also arrived in Eastern DRC. What's their mandate and what area are they covering? Yes, so the Burundi... So the Burundian troops are in the DRC. They arrived on Sunday and their mandate is to ensure that uh, the ceasefire and the withdrawal that was ordered by leaders from the East African community during a recent summit in Addis Ababa is implemented. They're going to be stationed in Sake, Kilolirwe, and Kichanga. Two of those areas, Kilolirwe and Kichanga, are under the M23 rebels. Many people have been displaced from that area, and so the Burundian troops will be there to oversee that this decision by the regional leaders is implemented. 
And we have heard that there were reports of some fighting in an er another area this morning known as Masisi territory between the Congolese army and M23 rebels. So the situation is still very tense and uh, the coming of the Burundian troops has brought some hope that, you know, uh, the, the peace will finally be restored. The regional leaders gave the M23 until the 30th of March to withdraw from all the areas that they've occupied. And so people are waiting for that day to see whether it will happen. Penina? Okay, Chris, thank you for that. Chris Uchamringa live in Kinshasa.